So in this video, we're going to talk about how to factor trinomials when a equals 1. So the original trinomial, let's start working with x squared plus 11x plus 24. So now when we do this, we're going to go ahead and see if there's a GCF. Well, notice that there is no GCF that we can factor out of all three terms. So we're just going to work with x squared plus 11x plus 24. So now we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. Remember that our trinomial is in standard form, so that's ax squared plus bx plus c. So the value of a will be the coefficient of x squared. Remember, that's just going to be 1. b is 11, and c is 24. So let's list out the factor pairs. So we are just going to count. We have 1 and 24, and after 1, we have 2, 2 and 12, 3, and then 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. Now we need to figure out the signs of the factors. So in this case, we have a value of C that's positive, and then a value of B that's also positive. So both our factors are going to be positive, so we don't need to change any signs. So now let's go ahead and add our factors together. So 1 and 24 gives us 25, 2 and 12 is 14, 3 and 8 is 11, 4 and 6 is 10. So 3 and 8 is the correct combination because that does add up to B. So 3 and 8 will be our factors. So that means when we write this in factored form, we're going to have x plus 3 times x plus 8. Remember that if you had a GCF in step 2, you would go ahead and add that in here. Okay, we don't have a GCF, so we're just going to leave that as our answer. Now let's suppose we want to factor 2x squared minus 6x minus 20. Now you may be wondering why I wrote this here because we're talking about trinomials where a equals 1 but you'll see why I included it here in just a second. So we're going to look at these three terms and see if there's a GCF. Notice that there is a GCF and it's 2. When I factor out that GCF, I'm left with x squared minus 3x minus 10. So this is in fact a trinomial where a equals 1. It's just that I had a GCF that I needed to factor out. So the value of b here is going to be negative 3 and c is negative 10. So if I list out my factor pairs of 10, I have 1 and 10 and then 2 and 5, and then 3, 4, none of those are divisible, um, we'll divide 10, so we're just going to stop there. So we, now we need to figure out the signs. Well, C is negative, and B is negative. So I'm going to go to this list and make all my bigger factors negative. So when I add these factors together, 1 and negative 10 is negative 9, 2 and negative 5 is negative 3. So 2 and negative 5 is the correct combination, so I'm going to go ahead and write my factored form of my trinomial. I have x plus 2 times x minus 5. Well, remember, I did have a GCF in my original problem, so I'm going to go ahead and write that now when I write it in factored form. So that's how you factor trinomials when a equals 1. 